So this morning we're following a recipe from the Hairy Bikers uh, vacation show when they were in Germany. So we're going to make a bread made with uh, potatoes or kartoffel brot. And as you can see, uh, we've got some flour, salt, um, vegetable oil. I couldn't get sunflower oil. Then we've got uh, castor sugar and dried yeast. So we'll see how we go. So to kick things off, we've got uh, 600 grams of spuds chopped up and you have to uh, boil them up for about 15 minutes and then mash them. So the next stage is we've got to add some uh, vegetable oil to the potatoes to mash them up. Now because I'm making twice the quantity, we're going to use two uh, tablespoons of oil. So at this stage we've got to mash it until it's absolutely smooth and then it just it helps make a really nice dough. Okay, next we've got uh, to put two teaspoons of yeast into the residual water from the potatoes. So that's one and then we've got the second one. Then we add in the castor sugar. So, yeah, we stir in the castor sugar. And then we should leave this for 10 minutes. This part shows you the uh, mashed potato with the yeast mixture now added and all we've got to add to this now before we start mixing it up is some salt. So uh, we've had uh, already put in one teaspoon of salt and we're putting in another one just now. And then I'm going to uh, mix this up before adding the flour. When we reach a, a tricky bit where it looks as if um, the dough mixture is too stiff to absorb any more flour and you've still got quite a lot of flour. Uh, so what we have to do is actually tip the dough out and then start kneading the flour into it. So like I was saying, we take the dough which is now actually quite pliable, it's quite, quite a nice dough and I've sprinkled some of the flour that's remaining in the bowl. So what we're going to do now is just knead it so that it's absorbing the flour as we go along. Now don't be daunted when you're looking at it because it looks as if you'll never get all of the flour absorbed by this dough, but I've done this before and it actually works really well. I like this bit um, because as you can see, all the flour on the work surface has now been absorbed by the dough. And if you press it, it's very pliable. Uh, so. All that you do now is get a lightly oiled uh, bowl, which I've got here, and uh, we'll stick the uh, dough in it and let it prove. Nearly there. Um, that's the dough after being proved for about an hour. Um, I'm going to knock it back and then I've got a couple of uh, flowered uh, trays and then we'll put the dough on these and let it prove again for half an hour before it goes in. So after we've flattened the uh, bread, you draw up the sides and then pinch it down the middle so that it gives it a bit of a rustic appearance. Uh, and then that will prove uh, again for about half an hour. And uh, so we've got two of these, as you can see. Uh, and then uh, just lightly oil some cling film and stick it on top and then stick it away. And so you have it, two uh, kartoffel brot uh, or potato breads made to our friends, the hairy bikers. Enjoy.